right. Our first bit of news is out of Victoria, Australia. A Sikh group gives free hot meals to bushfire victims, and they're hailed as legends. Um, these Sikh volunteers have been providing free food for the bushfire victims in Victoria. Um, they are members of the Melbourne-based Sikh Volunteers Australia group. Um, and they have been working throughout the week, serving hundreds of people. When they talked to the people who are getting the free meals, they called these guys legends for being out there twice a week, giving people food uh, in need around Melbourne. Wait, wait, before we started the news, shouldn't have we introduce our new co-host? Yes, I did so in the chat, but <laughs> you do it as well. This is Rivka, everybody. Um, yes, we are so excited, so excited to have her with us. Um, can you want to tell us about yourself, Rivka? Um, I'm not sure what to say. Um, I'm really happy and honored to be here. Thank you so much. Um, and um, I think we should just get started with the news. I can think about some other stuff to tell. Right. Maybe. But I wasn't expecting to have to do a little. <laughs> <laughs> no, just let, by the way, j just to let you guys know, now we have our full set complete. I'm an ex-Muslim. <laughs> Ali is an ex-Christian. Shobham is an ex-Hindu. And Rivka is an ex-Jew. Where's the set is complete. This is the only show that we have all X major world religions and you get all the perspectives <laughs> from different angles. So this, yeah, I'm actually going to have for hopefully if once Ali has her camera on back again, I'm going to have like on top of each one of our pictures, we're going to have like um, X Muslim, X Christians, X Hindu and X Jew like written on top of. Uh, so yeah, that's great. Anyway, so let's go. Let's get back to the news. Yeah, back to the news. So what do you guys think about right. um, these Sikh volunteers? All right, I'm going to go first, okay? Because, okay, so I honestly think that the fact that they're Sikh has nothing to do with the story. I don't really understand every time this is... And again, this has... I get frustrated whenever I hear that, like, they say, like, a Muslim group is doing this, a Christian group. Actually, I don't know. If a group is being demonized as immoral... Then I see the point of doing this, right? So, for example, if you're if if an if there's a place where atheists are considered immoral or Muslims are considered immoral, then to prove that that's false, then maybe some doing something like this makes sense. But to suggest that these people are good because they're Sikh, I think is is dishonest and actually. Um, you know, take you're taking away the credit from the individuals and giving it to an ideology that has no responsibility for people's good deeds, right? So, for when you say like a group of Sikh people, uh, Sikh people are like, is this Australian fires victims of? Australia? Yes. Okay, so they're helping us. Like this is great, fantastic. But I'm but I'm grateful to these people, to these men in this picture that I'm seeing. Uh, and not at all thankful to the fact that they're Sikh, or not at all thankful to the fact that to the religion of Sikhism. And I also don't like the idea, like a lot of people, are like, oh, Sikh people are great, Sikh people are not. No, they're not. Everybody, like, you know, they're the same as everybody else, right? Every group of people has their fair share of um, a swear word that I can't say because we're on YouTube, and and good people, <laughs> right? But. You know, like, even, you know, every group, you know, so, so, you know, it, it's, it's like saying this, like, if, if, let's say you say so and so, John went and he helped a homeless person. I'm like, oh, great for John. I'm like, yeah, he also believes in leprechauns. So, you know, leprechaun believing people are, seem to be great, great kind people. <laughs> I'm like, I, well, the fact that he believes in leprechauns is weird, but I'm pretty sure it had nothing to do with the fact that he's helping homeless people, right? So that's what I hear. Like every time I say like, oh, Muslims are helping um, homeless people or Sikh people are doing this or Christians doing this. I, I What I hear in my mind like, oh, yeah, a bunch of people are helping good, helping others. Like, oh, great. People helping other people. That's great. Oh, and by the way, they believe in leprechauns. Like, yeah, that's irrelevant. Anyways, what do you guys think? Well, Chopin can maybe speak to this more because he's in India. But I think there's two aspects here. I think. On some level, it does have to do with being Sikh because one of the proponents of their ideology is service. So this is something that they do a lot, Seva. Mm. Um, big, you know, and sharing meals is another aspect of their service. So there is that having to do with them being Sikh. But I do agree with you that it's 
frustrating to hear all the time. Muslim helped lady on subway. Uh, Sikh person fed people. Uh, you know, Christian is friends with a Jew. You know, Hindu person likes Muslims too. You know, I think that saying that kind of makes people just their ideology and not their actions. Mm. Instead of focusing on their character and the things that they're they're doing, it puts them in a group. And then, particularly, I think in the West, I see it a lot on a lot of um, sites. It also, in my opinion, kind of centers maybe a Judeo-Christian ideology here in the center, and everybody else is different. So you need to recognize it. Right. So that's sort of my thought about yeah, it. Yeah, but I mean, I, I think it would be fair for like, if if again, if Muslims are demonized, if they do something like this to show that like, look, we're not evil, that's fair. But only only if the point is that. We're not evil. Not the point. I don't. I don't like it if they make it the point that Islam makes us moral, right? That's not the. That's not something that I agree to be so. Or any other religion or any other superstition doesn't make you more moral. And in fact, if Sikh people in their religion, if their religion tells you to go provide services to homeless people, that's actually bad. You know, I want to believe that these people are good people regardless of religion, right? So if and if, myself as well, if they are doing this just because their religion is telling them, then that will make them less of a good people, right? So, I, you know, because they're, right. just, they're not really doing this out of the kindness of their heart, they're just following orders, right? So I'm, I'm trying to give credit to the individuals rather than religion, and I'm hoping that means that if you took their religion away from them today, they will still see value in going out and helping homeless people because it's just the right thing to do, not because they're just following scripture or whatever these people what they follow. But Ali, you want to good point. That's very important to point out because in research for this article, I looked up articles on other people who are obviously out helping in Australia right now. And just five days ago, there were Muslim women who traveled four to five hours with um, buses full of food to these victims and cooked them hot breakfasts. There were, uh, there's a food bank that had no immediate affiliation to any religion. He was doing hundreds in, of bags every day to feed people who are misplaced. Um, you know, there are almost 3,000 U.S. firefighters in Australia right now helping. So I think that it's important that instead of grouping these people together, not all Sikhs in, in all of Australia are there feeding them. Not all Muslim women in all of Australia are, are taking, you know, four to five hours of their day to truck food to people in need. Um, these are the individuals, and these are these individuals we have to be grateful for. Yeah. I mean, why is that? I why think is that's there, a really good point. Yeah, why, I mean, why, I, why is the religion being highlighted? Like, why do they not say... You know, women, uh, women that her favorite color with the favorite color green is helping, you know, like it's just irrelevant. It has nothing. These are just good people. It has nothing to it shouldn't have anything to do with the religion. I'm hoping yes. um, the top comment. Uh, Shabon, did you want to add anything to this? Because you're. You're yeah, supposed like, to be the uh, Sikh expert because... Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I, I have lots of Sikh friends. Like, I was talking to one and even even if he's Sikh, he was like, oh, yeah, there Sikh people do help people, other, pe other people, but they have lots of bullshit even in their own scriptures. For example, even Sikhism has the caste system. Right. If, uh, mm -hmm. Sikhism has many other bullshit. So... Well, it's you not just again, that. Shabham. Thank you for making uh, deprioritizing. De You're the first. Yeah. I, lost my, I lost my own bet. Okay. Right. <laughs> yeah, Shabham made a bet on who swears first today. But here we go. And okay, the top comment is by Murray, and this is what actually scares me. Like the top comment is saying the fa the faith. She's talking about Sikhism. Runs some of the biggest soup kitchens in the world. So I am. T so I am told. Awesome faith. Awesome faith. And awesome folk. This is the, this is actually dangerous, right? This is why I think saying Sikh people, oh, like look at Sikh people, how the great they are because they're Sikh. This is actually doing more harm than good, in my opinion, because they, like these are atheists that uh, atheists that are saying awesome faith, awesome faith, awesome religion. This is the danger of and some credit. religions are better, right? Because they like them better or it seems nicer. That seems kind of... 
So you're not good. You're making atheists think that some some bullshits deserve credit. You know what I mean? And this is really dangerous because again, if you use a bad methodology to get to sometimes the right conclusion, like oh, good good morals, right? That's actually more dangerous than using a right methodology and sometimes getting to bad conclusions, right? Because good methodologies usually give you better answers. Bad methodologies sometimes give you the right answer. And when you use that right answer to sell that bad methodology, which is faith, which is religion, then that right answer, even though they got it right at that time, is going to do more harm than good because it's used as a PR for a wrong method of recognizing what's right and what's wrong. And this is why I think these kind of headlines are actually dangerous and harmful and is selling religion and even atheists are buying it. Yeah. Right. Anyways, I w Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. I Atheist Republic, and I podcast in Arabic. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.